Hello, America. Y'all check out my new ambulance. You see, when people have medical emergencies out in the country, it takes them city emergency services too long to get out there. So I created my own emergency medical services for everybody out in the bushes. Now, don't let the size of this thing fool you. You see, this ambulance is made specifically to get down them tight country back roads. Now, there's always two of us running calls in the ambulance. It's two. That's a power. That's why you call us paramedics. Now, our motto here at Slim Chance Medical Center is, we tried. Now, as you can see on the outside, my ambulance has all the bells and whistles. But what really matters is all the life-saving devices on the inside. I have all the latest and greatest medical and pharmaceutical technology. Now, if you ain't got the right person in the back of this ambulance taking care of these people, it don't matter what kind of medical equipment you got. That is why I run medical simulations 24-7. To be sure that I can take care of any type of patient with any type of medical condition. Right now, I'm going to do a simulation to show you how I run a call and take care of a patient. Oh shoot, I forgot you was back there. Ma'am, it is going to be all right. We're going to save you. Let's get her in there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put on my protective gloves because you never know what kind of germ somebody's got. If it gets real dirty in here, real nasty, like there's boo-boos and throw up, that's when I put these bad boys on. I have placed an IV in the patient's left cephalic vein, and I have started some sedation because the patient was in quite a lot of pain. Now, with the patient being on anesthesia and being unconscious, that means that they cannot breathe for themselves. So I had to place an artificial airway and put them on my ventilator. Now, as you can see, this is how I set the tidal volume. Right here, this is how I set the rate. It's all manual, but it works. Now, let's just say while I'm working on the patient, there's a code brown. You know, a little bit of doo-doo. Well, in that case, to prevent me from having to smell it while working on the patient, I will use these nose plugs. Now I can continue to work on the patient while not smelling the doo-doos. Now, just in case I forget some things, and I need a quick source of knowledge, I have my book here that I can always refer to to help me out. Now, let's say I'm working on my patient. They go into a ventricular tachycardia. That is when I will use my AED. You see, I'll hook it up. Then I'll take these bad boys right here. Clear! And as you can see here, I have my propofol blow gun. Now, we come across a lot of psych patients. You need something to put them down quick. That's when I get my propofol dark gun. I load her up. And I knock them out. Calling truck one. Calling truck one. We have an unresponsive oh, female on 32 Passum Trail. Time to go save a life.